When someone plays on a playground, they don't think twice about how accessible the playground is. In the next slide, which playground is accessible? Look for slides, rock walls, swings, etc. So which one is it? The one on the left? Maybe right? Well, both are inaccessible. This is the problem. There are not enough accessible playgrounds, and people without disabilities don't think twice about this or at all. You might think it's cute and inspirational to be seeing a girl like me with a sun-colored back brace, but no, I'm not here to be inspirational. I'm here to educate the world about inclusion and accessibility for all disabled kids and adults. Unfortunately, what may be a lack of awareness or at times obvious exclusion or disrespect extends far beyond the playground. As an example, in late 2000, Senator Jeff Sessions, who is now U.S. Attorney General, slammed kids with disabilities and our civil rights law. IDEA, or the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, by calling us, quote, the single most irritating problem for teachers throughout America, end quote. Another example of exclusion is the very word inclusion. When you look it up on Google, it gets very confusing. The definition is the state of including or of being included within a group or structure. But really, it's just being human. Will this matter? I have a form of muscular dystrophy that affects my knees, feet, motor skills, and balancing. It can also cause scoliosis, which is why there's a spectacular brace. <laughs> my disability is called CMT or Charcot-Marie Tooth. When I was younger, I used to call it Charcot-Marie Tooth so that I could pretend I was a shark. <laughs> yeah, fishy. <laughs> Remember when I was talking about it, inclusion and Jeff Sessions? Well, when you look it up on Google, you don't find what you would expect. When you look it up on Google, you find an American Dental Association instead of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Surprising. Towards the end of my fifth grade year, things got a little rough. But let's not start there. In the beginning of my fifth grade class, my teachers, my school, were way out of line. We had risers, bleacher type things that we stood on in choir and music class, and the first row was about six inches off the ground. Now, it might not seem like it, but with my disability, it is super hard to balance on a step like that. The whole year we argued not to have the first row of students on the ground during practices and performances. That was the teachers. After a frustrating year of arguing for my rights, I knew I had to do something. That's when the idea to create a website was born. My brother and I started a website called Kid Activist to help other disabled kids learn about their rights. The end of that summer, my mom and I were invited to go to the United States of Women's Summit in Washington, D.C. It was a two-day event. The first day, we went to the main convention center and tons of celebrities, authors, actors, activists, and the first family was there. But it wasn't just about the celebrities or the first family. I also had the chance to sit with several disabled adults, and it was great to be around them. So, if you're gonna tell us we're the single most irritating problem, get ready, because you're gonna have to deal with us. Thank you.